where you really need to have a bike that provides you a dry environment, a safe environment, and a practical environment, we have tried to make that into one single vehicle. And that's Freecar. The Freecar e-bike looks rather big, since it has four wheel and full weather protection. However, it's not wider than a regular bike trailer. That means you can normally use it wherever a bike with a trailer goes. This is a regular e-bike within a European regulation. So that means you can use it wherever you are allowed to use a bike. It's a bike, so you're allowed to park it on the bike parking. Since it's 84 centimeters wide, it's a little bit wider than a regular bike, but at the same time, it's not wider than a cargo bike. So some places they have dedicated spaces for cargo bikes and, and that is obviously where you should park. If not, you park it out of the way of people who uh, needs to pass. You can in the future also park it on its tail. So it takes uh, about one square meter of parking space. That's actually less than a regular bike. In the um, free car, there is a child seat option which adds a bracket where you can quickly take in and out a child seat. So you can bring a child up to, I think it's around six years or 22 kilos, which is the limit for the approved child seat we are using now. We can also accommodate two extra children in a trailer that you attach like an old bike trailer to the rear of the vehicle. Since the uh, child seat is very easy to take in and out from inside the bike, you can uh, very easily change it from transporting children to transporting goods. The battery range is somewhere between 50 to 80 kilometers, depending on usage. 18% inclinement with a total mass of 200 kilos. That is what we designed the bike to do. There's, of course, much more use for assist when you go uphill, but it also has recuperation. So when you go downhill, the battery will be charged. You can also reduce the power consumption by reducing the assist level. This bike really loves snow and ice. When it's icy, you can put on studded tires very quickly and it has traction on both rear wheels. So if one rear wheel starts to spin, the other takes over. It also has fully independent braking front and rear. So that means that if you want, you can brake only with the front so your rear end doesn't slide out. And you also have the huge benefit of four instead of two wheels, so you don't fall over, even if you start skidding on the ice. And in the snow, well, as long as the snow is not too high, you should not ride in more than about eight to 10 centimeters of snow with the current uh, wheel suspension. It is an all round year bike made for Nordic conditions, so snow and ice is just fun to ride in. When you're out riding the bike in rain, snow, or behind the trailer or something, you will need to wash the windscreen. There's an option for an electric pump with a washing fluid reservoir that is located under the right side wheel cover. There's a small switch which is triggered that activates the pump. And the nozzle is located on the windscreen wiper arm. Bumpy road works quite well. The wheel suspension in the rear, it's uh, similar to uh, a standard trailing arm suspension on cars, but it's fully independent. So it's quite comfortable to ride it. And the front suspension is uh, multi-link suspension, which has also fully independent movement. So you're kind of floating on bumpy roads. That said, however, it is not an off-road vehicle. The off-road version will be available, but it will be a conversion kit. So you can take the existing free car and convert it into an off-road. It's an e-bike, so the maximum assist speed in Europe is 25 km per hour. In North America, it's 32 km per hour or 20 miles. You may pedal it faster if you have the stamina to do so, 
or there is a downhill or a lot of wind in the back. That would also help to speed it past the 25 or 32 kilometer assist limit. When you reach 50 kilometer per hour, it will start to automatically brake.